Peggy Amador. Um, there was, we were driving on the highway and this lady came from behind and she hit my car from behind and bounced me into three other cars. The moment of the accident, I didn't realize like how much I was hurt. I was just like very nervous, shaking. I did remember bouncing my head against the, the window and I remember bouncing my whole body against the, the wheel. Um, and then of course, the other day is when you start like feeling everything, you know? So uh, my leg was hurting a lot because I hit the brakes like as much as I could because I just I saw the car when she was coming to hit me so I felt like if I hit the brakes at least she was not going to push me because in front of us there was like a big fighter um which thank god we did not hit against that because it would have been worse um so it, my leg was hurting my back was hurting I had bruises on my legs I had like some bruises on my chest and um yeah it was it was pretty bad and you know the people who were with me had like bruises all over they were their body was hurting a lot and their back was hurting this part of the neck was it was bad you know the other day i barely couldn't even walk it did affect in so many ways like um you know first of all we were living in a third floor apartment so just the thing of having to come up and down, it was a struggle. It was painful. Um, I was very nervous. I didn't want to drive. And um, so the, for the rest of the following week, I didn't really drive. I had to have someone driving me wherever I had to go because I had to go, you know, pick up the stuff that, were in the, that was in the car. And it was, I was so nervous just by the fact of driving or just like feeling somebody coming behind, I would feel that they were gonna hit me. Uh, then I was also struggling a lot with the insurance company. So I had anxiety, I had like, you know, all these emotions going through. And then um, at, at my work, it was really affecting me a lot. I was missing a lot of days, having to go to a lot of, you know, appointments and everything. So it, it, it affected me in, in a lot of ways. People I worked for were very understanding of the whole situation, but I do think that there was a point where, like, you know what, um, like, you know, I was not able to do perform the same way. And as much as they care about you and love you, of course, you know, they want someone to be able to do everything that is needed. So I think, in a certain way, I was like feeling very nervous about the whole situation because I was also having to ask for a lot of time off, you know. So. I was worried. I was very lucky that I was able to keep my job, but I had moments that that also brought up a lot of anxiety. I had a lot of moments where, you know, I was having to make phone calls every single day to the insurance company, doing a lot of things at work because it was the same time as business hours that, you know, the insurance company handling things about the car. And so when you're working and they try to understand, but you're always like, oh, I need to call for the car. I need to go to an appointment. I need to miss some days at work. Obviously there's like some tension, you know, so it, it was affecting me in, in that way. It was very difficult because uh, the accident was not my fault, uh, but the lady who hit me from behind had no insurance. So we had to go through my insurance, which I understand they were upset about that situation. You know, normally it's better if the person has insurance and pays for the whole thing. Um, so I understand there was like some tension between me and the insurance company and they were not helping at all. You know, they were not really caring. I mean, if I would call and tell them, what do I have to do? And, you know, I wanted like a little bit of guide, like, what do I have to do? do should I go to the doctor? What do I do with the car? They were not guiding me in anything. They took months and months to pay for the car. And, you know, so if they were not even caring about, you know, paying for bills that are so, it, it was very difficult. And I have had that insurance company for years. So I was expecting, you know, I'm paying for years, never had to use it. And this is the first time it was not even my fault. And that was the reaction I was having. So yeah, it was, it was very like, you know, upsetting and it gave me like a lot of frustration um i was a little bit worried of knowing which lawyer to pick because there's always this stereotype and ideas of all oh, lawyers just care about the money they don't really care about you are they really going to help you somebody recommended the law office to me which i'm glad they did because i was very lost i had no idea 
who to pick, you know, it's not like you have a, an accident all the time. So you don't really have those numbers like on your agenda. Okay, for the accident, call this, you know, you don't have that. <laughs> so I was very grateful that somebody recommended a great lawyer. And, and so it, it, it was a good lawyer. You know, there's lawyers and lawyers, but I was one of the lucky ones to have a good one. great i was happy uh, at the beginning i didn't really know but one of the things that i noticed from the very beginning was uh, i appreciated a lot that the person that was calling me who was say qs uh spoke my language because when you are so nervous you have anxiety you have all these thoughts i i don't know you got kind of get stuck even when i speak english at the moment i didn't know how to express myself sometimes but having her speak my language understanding me that helped me a whole lot and then from the very beginning, she was super nice and sweet. And I was even asking her questions that were not related with body damage. I was like asking her about the car. Oh, how am I going to do with this? And she was never like, oh, no, that's not my part. Oh, no, that's not what I do. You know, she was always very understanding. She actually helped me make some phone calls because you could even hear it in my voice at that time that it was just, you know, it was a lot of anxiety. So she helped me a lot through the whole process. And she, from day one, I think we clicked because she was the nicest and my daughters were involved in the accident and she actually went when I told her it was my two daughters and my aunt she was like oh my god are your daughters okay she just showed that she was caring about the whole thing you guys helped me way beyond of what I expected you know I always thought okay they're just gonna help me with you know getting the expenses to be paid. I thought the process was gonna be a lot longer because everybody was telling me, oh, just prepare for this, it's gonna take a long time. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, it was it was fast. Um, then, as I said, Seiki went beyond because she didn't only help me with the whole situation of body damage, but I had the situation with the car and, you know, several, times she helped me make phone calls and kind of like push them to do that process then she was trying to find the best doctors for us it was not just sending us to any doctors she was wanting to make sure and sometimes if i was lost and i would tell her i, I didn't really understand what the doctor said <laughs> she would call the doctors and ask okay you know how could we help her client we want to know how everything is. and so she was very you know into the whole process and you know really caring about us and sometimes even at random she would call us just to see how we were doing not because it was part of the process not because she had to write notes about it she just wanted to know how we were doing how i was feeling or asking me did you finally get the car paid are you calm are you feeling better are you being able to sleep um, so she she was actually great i, I didn't feel i was dealing you know, with like a lawyer situation, I just felt it was like a friend. So it, which made it nice. And I don't even know her, I have never met her face to face, but on the phone, I think we created that bond where she became like a friend to me. I would definitely recommend you guys. I mean, you, we are not a number. We are not like, oh, that's a case, a number, we're gonna get this amount of money. I, I, I did not feel that at any point. I felt that you guys were really trying to help, really care about my case, really care about my daughters, wanted, wanting to help us. So it was not just a number. When you feel like a number, I think that's helpful. And it's funny because sometimes I call Seikyu and I just say, hi, Seikyu, and she immediately recognizes my voice. Oh, hi, Miss Peggy, how are you doing? So, you know, that makes you feel, you know, nice. It's not like, oh, who is this? Or, oh, let me check your case. Let me go into your file to see who, who's calling. No, it was not like that, which for me was rare because normally that's how everybody, you know, doctors, dentists, whatever, make you feel like you are but that was not the case here. If I was able like, you know, normally you grade, you grade and say five stars, three stars. If I was able to put like 10 stars, I would do it because honestly, I did feel that, you know, the whole process was handled so well in such a professional way, but also in such a like nice environment, you know? So you never felt that pressure. Even like sometimes she would call me and ask me for documents and I would forget. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I forgot. She was never like, upset or mean she was very understanding don't worry I understand you have some days where you're not feeling well just make sure you send them to me and you know she would even like 
call my daughters sometimes and ask them. So I recommend the law office, I mean, 100%. And every time I would call, um, everybody was friendly, everybody was nice. And, and after the process ended, it's not like, okay, we're done with you guys, that's it. I still feel, I still get like the email from the law office, which is nice. And it, it really makes you feel, you know, that somebody cared about you. So I would, I would tell people, if you want someone to handle your case well, but also feel understood and know that you are not just money for the lawyers. I mean, I totally, you know, recommend the Shane Law Office because it, it, it really makes you feel that well, you know, and, and it's also, you know, I, I was lucky enough that my process went very well and I felt that it was quick. So yeah, that's something that I think people should, should also see. Nine eight zero nine 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 nine